Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading is a free course download for increasing your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in live time. The link for the download is in the description box below. And the free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High-Performance Traders, is also a free download to develop your discipline, your confidence, and a winning mindset to master the markets. Again, the download for these links is in the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be doing a review of timings, levels, behavior of price. We're going to talk about the two main templates that we're looking for, how they will set up the timing window, and what you should be looking for specifically in terms of instrument selection and then understanding the templates that are ideal or best candidates for a best trade setup. And often that will involve an instrument that has either dropped three levels for a continuation, a dump for a pump, or it's risen three levels for a pump and a dump. Now we posted this on our community page and uh, several traders obviously are familiar with this now and I got a lot of questions regarding, you know, where do you draw these levels? How are you getting these boxes? In a basic model, we're talking about 25 pip increments on currency. So, uh, for example, we could move 25 from the high of day down another 25, and the market may move 75 in total. It may actually even move 80 or 90, but it puts in a low of the day underneath of a quarter level or a major round number, double zeros, 50s maybe at 25 or, or 75 if we're in a 100 pip box. Now, if we are in an, a day where there's more volatility or perhaps we're on a more volatile instrument, it might be three levels of 50, 50, and 50 for a 150 pip box. Now, one of the questions uh, I got from a trader was, is, um, but where do you see these levels? It's the price. It's the price levels. Uh, we could have... Uh, double zeros, it can go to 75 and 75 to 50, and it might even trade down towards 25, but it puts the level in underneath of 50 where we start working our way back, perhaps in the timing window, whether that's Asia, London, or New York for a best trade candidate. Now, typically I'm trading New York and I have three sessions of volume, so I have Asia and London that can give me my high low for the day. And we're always referencing the previous day's higher low. So if we have a market that has come inside and made a higher high, perhaps in London, I will redraw that high if the market has dropped down another 50, 50, and 50 heading into our New York window, looking for this type of template and then having the opportunity to perhaps look for an opportunity to enter that trade in the timing window, whether that's the New York Open, 9.30 a.m., or at 9.25 a.m. or at 9.40 a.m. for the explosive reversal back through the high of the day, which could be in line with our overall upwards trend coming back to understanding what day count are we in? Are we making higher highs? Are we on day day two, opening range breakout, a day three continuation perhaps? But the important thing to understand is we're using the previous day's highs and lows as reference points to give us our a criteria for identifying a best trade candidate. Now that same scenario applies to a pump and a dump. Uh, so we could have a market that's on uh, day two, it's made a lower low, it breaks down even lower perhaps, and we start our three levels of rise and we redraw our low of the day. So often traders are trying to buy that puncture or that breakdown and meanwhile, that's our reference point heading into our three session setup, perhaps in the New York session or the London session. The three levels of rise or fall can be 25, 25, and we may only push up into that third level, but that is our three levels of rise from our low of the day. Now, in some instances, we may have a quarter box where the market has made its low just below a quarter and it makes its high just above the quarter for a move back down, whether that be Asia or London. And this typically is still three levels. You have a lower box, a middle box, and an upper box for our three levels of rise. When this market moves, it will still have 50 pips from top to bottom 
if we have low hanging fruit trapped above those numbers. Typically though, when we have a three session setup, which we've spoke about in several videos, we're talking about perhaps US, Asia, London. This could be Asia, London, New York. This could be a London, New York, Asia trade where we have three levels of drop from the previous day's US session high into the low of the day where Asia may give a, a creeping trend back up and London may blow off vertically for the low hanging fruit trade. Now we can look at different currency pairs. I'm just gonna use the previous day's high and low so that traders understand the concept and then we'll look specifically with our sweet spots uh, numbers on the chart and for traders who have asked me that indicator is a free download it is in the description box you can either use the link that's in there or just google sweet spots it's for mt4 now when we head into our monday this is our monday on our british pound our opening range we have the previous day's low as our reference point remember we're looking for two types of templates pump and a dump or a dump and a pump and ideally for a best trade candidate, we're going to see a market that starts to make three pushes up into the session that we're trading. So we have Asia, and we'll look at this on our color chart in a moment, and we're coming into our London timing window. We have a high of the day before the session starts at the Europe Open, but coming back to our just our simple model where we will use the equity hour open, the middle hour open, as our reference point for trade opportunity. So again, I said 9.30 for New York, we can use that middle hour, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. for the London window. Uh, for Asia, we can use it 9 a.m. if we had an, a three session opportunity for a Asian session trade. Now again, I'm looking for currency pairs, for example, that if I'm going to trade London, well, I'm obviously gonna be looking for the British pound. I'm gonna be looking at the Euro. I'm gonna be looking at the Swiss franc. I'll have a quick review of the major US dollar crosses, but I'll also look at those cross rate pairs to see if I have a template, a template for a pump and a dump or a dump and a pump. Now we can project our lines across to see where volume has been trapped from the previous US session or late London sessions. We have our three pushes up into that, but we have our, our engulfments and our M type structure at the high of the day for a vertical collapse into the low of the day. Now there was major red news on the day, but I wanna just paint the scenario of the template, the template, the template. Now if we look at our color chart with our session timing window, and we have our round numbers, this is a 100 pip box. We have put a low in place below the quarter level the night before in the US session. That market has gradually worked up into above 50 and then up into 75, which we often refer to as our upper level of the 100 pip box. Right into our timing window, we made higher highs before breaking structure on the inside right in the first hour, but coming back to just the middle equity hour, we have our dump and pump template. There was major red news during that session later in that um, British uh, London window. So for example, we have the US Swiss franc on Monday. We had major red news on both the British pound or British um, major red news as well as the Euro European uh, major red news. So we can look at a similar cross pair in the Europe London window for an opportunity perhaps at the higher low of the day with the same type of thesis. Now, if we come back and look at our US low of the day and we have a market that's not really given us an opportunity uh, based on a higher high or, or a lower low inside, but we have a market that dumped down into the Europe open and went vertical after major red news on either the Euro or the British pound. But at the end of that 12 candle window, our three hour window, so again, coming back to timing, if we let that hour close and it works back up into the high, we get our engulfment pattern at the high of the day for an easy collapse back down to the low of the day right into our U, the beginning of our US timing window. So after major red news, this market has collapsed down. We don't need to know anything else about the inside. After this has gone vertical on news, we're looking for 
the behavior of price. Timing levels behavior of price. So if we wait for all the major red news, we're thinking, well, it, it may be more volatile on the euro or the pound. Let's look at the Swiss franc. The market goes vertical and breaks the high of the day. This is Monday, our opening range. And that also begins with a higher high. The reversal after major red news on Monday for the dump and pump template later after the New York Open that continued the move. Again, I'll highlight that while we're on this chart. If we look at our 930 New York Open, so that market pins down on major red news at uh, 10 a.m. And then we get our reversal for the dump and pump on Monday opening range on day one, which closed out of balance. Very similar to this, we got our high of day sell at the end of the 12 candle window in London, and that market then gave us a pump after major red news starting our third hour after the New York session opened. We had major red news at 10 a.m., and then that market gave us our entry for the continuation back through the high of the day on day one. But we also had major red news on the calendar, and that major red news came in at 10 a.m., which is the pin hammer, just prior to taking out the low of the day. So again, we're on a 15-minute chart, but we have a lower low and lower highs on the inside, and that clears out, which means we're only looking at that lower low for the pump and dump 930 New York Open, the engulfment pin hammer for the short trade back down to the low of the day. It does not get all the way to the low of the day, but you'll notice that it gets back down to Friday's low of the day and also clears out our entry from the New York session the night before. So coming back to three levels of rise, if we take a look at our number chart, if we're looking at our Tuesday, we'll just zoom in here and we take a look at our numbers we have the previous day's low, and that has come up underneath a 50, from 50 to 75, and from 75 up towards double zeros, giving us three boxes of trading, which means, again, if we were to sell above the top box and short it down, even if we just take out that previous day's low level, we still have asymmetrical risk reward, three levels, which for currencies, sometimes this is the type of scenario you're going to get. This is an easy, low-hanging fruit collapse, high of day, New York open after major red news for the vertical short trade back to the low of the day. Three levels of rise, consolidation, three sessions. You'll notice that London is inside of the high of the day that was made the beginning of the day. Asia auctioned inside. They made a lower low and a lower high in the Europe-London window. And that lower low prior to the U.S. New York Open gets clears everything else out. Then that becomes our only focus. That is the low of the day. They pump it up, reverse, collapse, pin hammer on the news for the short entry back through the low of the day. Let's talk about this while we're here. This was a Fed Day F FOMC. We'll put that on the chart. We have, have an example of where the market Traded up to the high of Asia game. We're talking about the Swiss franc. So we're looking for opportunities primarily, most likely in the Europe London window. And this market collapses just prior to the Europe London open, forcing traders in the London session to be buying the low of the day, which typically is when they're going to trap you into order flow. So again, not a best trade setup, just identifying the scenario that evolved over today's FOMC after first red day. They made a lower low. So prior to our US window, this is the low of the day. Now again, uh, with FOMC, it's not unusual to just see large consolidation, but if traders were so inclined, which I'm not, I do not trade the, the Fed at all. Uh, but coming back to the process, we have a market that trades back up through the high of the Europe London window and puts in a High inside of the lower high of the day. We have a breakout of the previous day's high. That becomes our reference point. And first red day is a high of the day shorting opportunity if indeed it presents, which obviously we made lower lows, which again clear out that U.S. session low. That's our break in structure 
on the inside and we'll just project that across now and we had a pump and dump on a smaller structure heading into the fed so again the same template pump 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 fed for the vertical collapse through the low of the day after first red day day one day two day three now if we come back to our british pound we can go to tuesday again i'm going to jump around a bit but i'm just trying to paint the process the high of the day is at 75 from the previous monday our opening range so the market closed down low we project down three levels of drop from the high of the day we're looking for a market that is going to dump down and trap volume down in the lower part of the range that lower one-third break structure which clears everything out to the left okay you'll notice higher high on the inside so that becomes our new high of the day that's the only thing we're looking at for the dump 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 major red news 10 a.m and the continuation trade right after major red news and the new york open this is a 15 minute chart but obviously with traders who have the thesis the levels and after our major red news we have the opportunity now for the pump back up through the high of the day dump and pump a two-day opening range initial balance dump three levels break in structure higher high dump 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 for the pump back through the high of the day day one day two now heading into day three we have a market that going into our london window again the same process applies has dumped down 25 pips before pushing up and making a higher high the higher high on the inside is a setup into a session three session setup for a dump and pump now remember we're on a fed day so this is not typical we'll we'll see often um, smaller ranges or some choppier behavior because as we see here the market even though it's pumping up it's doing so in the stair step escalator fashion prior to the fed now you gain noticing higher highs higher highs is the setup for the dump and that's the first release it's released in two stages second drop down in the low for the pump back through the high of the day so we can say we've got a parabolic setup but we're heading into major red news they break structure on the first release at 2 2 p.m drop it down one more time heading into our second release at 2 30 for the vertical pump back through the high of the day now coming back to another common phrase you'll hear me say who is in the market who is in the market heading into day three we have breakout traders in the market day one long breakout traders now assuming this market's going to close out of balance again we have day two long breakout traders in the market so we have breakout traders in the market if we just project monday's high of day across you'll notice again breakout pullback on top of monday's high higher high for the dump and pump continuation so we have day two breakout traders in the market from the opening range now we'll look at oil and the indexes and and, and for oil and the, and the indexes i want to specifically talk about the new york open 9 30 a.m new york time now part of the reason is i want to emphasize the importance of timing in the New York session and also uh, emphasize the importance of specifically knowing that time plays an important role in these trades and the trade setups so traders are trading all the time they're trading gap times they want to know about this but you're missing a really key important concept is that once New York opens things are going to move whether it's a currency whether it's oil whether it's gold whether it's an index uh, and so often you're getting caught into stuff maybe that's poor quality sometimes uh, there's an early entry they might dump it first in that first hour in gold and continue the move but once New York opens if there's no major red news on the calendar uh, again that is usually when we'll see that explosive move take place but coming back to the process the high and low of the day we have a market 
that dumps down from the previous high on Friday. This is oil. Now we have dump, dump that breaks out though. It breaks out in the London window heading into our New York session. So again, this is an example of where traders are looking to short it because it's broken out. Except that we have a market that's in breakout and it continues to go higher. This is prior to the New York open. It continues to go higher. It makes a higher high. Higher highs, higher lows is the setup for the dump and pump this long pin hammer candle on our 15 minute chart is our New York open in a market that is making higher highs for an explosive continuation trade in the New York session 9 30 a.m. New York time day one on Tuesday we have another opportunity to identify a potential best template for the dump and pump. So again, the market puts a low of the day in place in the London window prior to making higher highs on the inside. So again, that negates everything over to the left that it's higher than, and that becomes our new reference point now for a, you guessed it, a dump and pump heading into our New York open window which is where we get our engulfment candle right at 930 a little higher high and a pullback and a continuation this is a 15 minute chart we'll look at the number levels here in a moment but again the template look at the template this is what I'm trying to emphasize traders are like how did you get that it's a template let's go back and look at our dump and pump template three levels of drop higher high on the inside for the dump and the pump they can be different subtle variations of this this is just an example timings levels behavior of price now this is an example of where we make a high of the day a lower high of the day in the London window and so several traders have asked me where are you counting your levels you know how are you figuring this out and it's pretty simple. I'm just looking at the number boxes. There's nothing compli complicated. I'm just looking at price. This is where the drop began. One, two, three levels of drop, and they put a low in. So there's my three levels because that's where the high of the, the day was. I, I don't, I'm not worried about being at the high. That's not the point. My, my point is where did the drop begin? It began at double zeros. I don't have to be here or anywhere else. How many boxes have we have we dropped? There's our low of the day. And that now is our reference point from the previous day's high. You'll also notice that often what you'll see is space in that last level because they trap volume down low and when they explode through it, they can clear that out. Traders are either selling down lower inside of the high, right, which is where that space is, but this will often show up in a dump and pump template again new york open vertical explosive move dump it down from the high of the day three levels if we just come back and look at that high of the day we'll measure that here we can go down 50 50 or we can say okay there's the high of the day they dropped it down at the high of the day that was the first level second level and third level doesn't really change much it's the same thing three levels of drop the peak formation is another question that I get from traders Stacy you never talk about what a peak formation is well, that's not true peak formation is the last high or low that's made in a session so there's our peak formation in the US window we have a peak formation low that forms heading into our close they go into consolidation before breaking down that lower low now becomes you guessed it, a peak formation made when? In our London session, in our London three hour window. Where is the peak formation high? Where is the peak formation low in the last session if we're inside? That is our reference point. There's the high of the day. There's the low of the day. They dump it back down into the low of the day at the New York Open for an explosive continuation trade on day two. So coming into our new day, where's our peak formation? It is not just highs and lows everywhere. Where's the last high that was made 
in the U.S. session. Well, obviously, that's the high of the day. That becomes our new reference point for our three levels of drop if we're looking for a dump and pump type template. So let's see what that market gives us. The market makes a low in the Asian session. We have a lower high on the inside. Lower high from our London window becomes our new reference point. When they go lower, we're looking to put in our low of the day. We have our low of the day made in the first 15 minutes of the US 12 candle window. That forms our peak formation low. Why? Because we get an engulfment structure that forms a peak formation. They trade back down into our peak formation low. You guessed it, right at the New York Open. And I'll highlight that candle right here for a reversal trade back through the high of the day. Now on a smaller time frame, we had a beautiful universal entry criteria. You'll also notice one push, two push engulfment higher high now on the inside that gives us our W formation and an explosive move back to the high of the day. This is a Fed day. We also had US crude inventories released. I took a screenshot of this 20 seconds before the news and put it on the community page on the YouTube channel to demonstrate the importance of taking profits as they pip the high and reversed right away 50 pips on that news release before reversing back through the high of the day. So before news, lock in the money and get off the screen. Peak formation high forms our high of the day. They come down and give us lower lows and we'll just again count our boxes. If we just take our 50 pip box in this particular case. Why 50, Stacy? Because the peak formation is in that upper part of a 50 pip box. So again, it doesn't have to be right at the top, but we dropped 50, dropped into the next 50, and we dropped down into the bottom 50. And we see that that's where our low of the day was made before reversing back to the high of the day. Fed day, the market had news release, take the money, it's an easy 50 plus pips depending on your fill, back to the lower high of the day. Didn't have the juice to go all the way through, it's an inside day, day one, day two, day three, inside day. So far it hasn't. looks like it's going to close that way, but a, a, a nice dump and pump template. Now if we go from the high of the London window, you'll also notice three levels of 25 I'll just put that in here, 25, 25, and 25. But it went a bit further than that, Stacy. So what we do is we redraw our lows, but it's three levels of drop, putting the low of day in place, and then the reversal inside of that lower quarter level. You'll notice that price fills above that level and below zero before exploding back to the high of the day dump and pump from the high of the London session. Now just on that as well, higher high clears everything out to the left, meaning we're focused on this high for the dump and pump, breaking structure, higher high, down low, New York open, vertical move back to the high of the day. Now we'll look at the DJ30. Um, I'm gonna finish it here and then we'll do other ones in another video, but I wanna just you know, in the interest of time, keep this short, but the process, the process, the process, the high of day and the low of day are your reference points for three levels of drop or rise when you're looking for a best template candidate. Now we can look at gold as well before we finish this because we'll have an example of a day today, Fed day, where the market has broken out and given three levels of rise for a dump and a New York open pump right back to the high of the day, the high of the week. Same scenario, same process, but we have a market that has dumped down in our US close on Friday night. Higher highs heading into our Europe London window. The market makes a higher high heading into our US session. We'll look at the numbers in, in a moment, but we have a market that dumps down and then explodes vertically on the New York Open. This is a 15 minute chart repeating that. A major red news at 10 a.m. 
So we have a market that, after major red news, continues the explosive breakout from the dump and pump setup. Now, if we just take a look at that with our 100 pip boxes on here, and again, coming back to 50, 50, and 50. We have three levels of drop heading into our new day. But then when we start our higher high in the London Gap time, right at the end of the session, we have a market that goes 25, 50, and 75 before beginning the reversal. That reversal makes a higher high on the inside just prior to our New York Open. We had, Again, remember, we had major red news at 10 a.m., and that market breaks out. Sorry, I've just changed that to our five-minute chart, and that market then exploded and engulfed on major red news for the continuation. Now, again, I'm not suggesting that you had to trade the news or anything else, but the pattern, the template were all in place for a dump and pump breakout of the previous day's high. Which brings us to Tuesday, day two. Again, this is a five minute, uh, sorry, this is a 15 minute chart. I'll just change that. High of day, three levels of drop. So when we come into our New York open window, and so when we have a lower low, what do we do? We redraw our low of the day. Coming into our US window, we have major red news at 10 a.m. And we'll just snug that up. We redraw that low prior to the window and our New York open. So we have our New York open makes a lower low and then we have our major red news at 10 a.m. for the explosive engulfment breakout pullback higher highs. This is again a 15 minute chart for the continuation trade back through the high of the day. We also have day two breakout traders in the market. That market reversed into the close of the session. Now, technically that did close as a first red day. First red day, but we have day two breakout traders in the market from Monday's opening range breakout of Friday's high. And so we have day one, day two heading into our Fed day. Now just again coming back to the process, we have a high of day where this market has now dropped down. We'll just draw this here, 50, 50, and 50, and gone a little bit lower. So we redraw our low of the day. Now, we have a market that has, we'll go to our five minute chart. For three levels of 50 dropping from the high of the London session, the uh, lower high. Again, that market went vertical right on the open, gave a nice one minute entry, which we'll look at. Again, some traders said that's impossible to take, but if you understand the template that you're trading and then when that opportunity presents, if you were looking, if you were hunting this, you're not just scrolling through screens. If you were hunting this, this was an excellent opportunity. Several traders hit it for the dump and pump back to the high of the day, which you can see was pretty much over in five minutes for Oh, pretty close to 75 to 100 pips. Now, this is a Fed day, so nail and bail. Uh, some traders uh, stuck around later for the Fed, but you'll notice again higher highs prior to the Fed for the dump and pump. We had two stage release, 2, a. 2 p.m., and then the 2.30 p.m. dump. Dump it down three levels. And let's just look at that while we're here. Dump it down three levels, 25, 25, 25. If you don't have the price on your charts, I can't help you. You'll have to figure that out. Several traders have said, you know, where do you get the numbers from? It's the price. It is the price on the commodity, the index, whatever that is. But we have three levels of drop consolidation. The break in structure on the inside on the first release. We have a parabolic type of setup here where we're making smaller, higher highs and higher lows prior to the second stage release pin hammer engulfment for the vertical explosion through the high of the day and the high of the previous day. So dump and pump, pump and dump, three levels of drop. Understanding that if the high and the low are 150 pips apart, it's 350 pip boxes. If it's 75 pips, it's 325 pip boxes, but it's the timings the timings, the levels, the behavior of price.
So for traders who wanted to see the one minute entry on this, again, remember we're at the low of the day. We have a creeping trend down. We'll just change that to one minute. For traders who are stocking this, they're not they're not looking at 20 charts. They already have their templates set up. They already know what they're looking for. They're hitting this trade. Remember, it should be an explosive move when it's the open and it's coiled to go vertical. Beautiful chart, beautiful trade for traders today on that instrument. But three levels of drop, uh, lower high on the inside. They dump it down before the session begins. If they dump it down before a session begins, I'm thinking dump and pump. Now here's an example on gold. We have a market that actually broke out of the high of the day. So we've gone down and in the London right of the Europe Open, gone vertical when we come into our U.S. session. But we've gone up in three pushes, three distinct pushes. We have Europe London higher in London again. For breaking down and pumping up right before our U.S. window and making a high of the day. High of the day heading into our U.S. window and then lower lows. So you'll notice again we make the lower lows on the inside. That negates everything to the left above that point because it's already been cleared out. And so that becomes our reference point now for a thesis of pump and dump. Now I want to point something out with markets that break out that is very important. We have lots of space. The market has not pulled back. So sometimes we'll see markets that break out and pull back and continue and traders are trying to short and they're shorting into that pullback that's already pulled back into the breakout and it's not going to go anywhere. Whereas when we have space we have space, we have space, and we have space. This market has lots of room to collapse back down to the breakout level. Now, this is prior to 9.30. This is at the end of our first hour. We have our engulfment, three levels of rise, which we'll look at in a second here. No major red news in that session, engulfment pin hammer. So lots of opportunity to get into this market at the end of the first hour at the high of the day. For over 50 pip collapse, this is a 75 pip move back down to the low of the day. But the New York Open happens right down low, right down low. And so coming back to timings, if we were just to trade the New York Open, we have a market that's broken out. And the New York Open takes traders into that breakout before making a higher high. Higher high on the inside is the setup for the, you guessed it, the dump and pump in that third hour after that middle hour New York Open takes traders into the low of the day, jams them in, they get a higher high and then an engulfment pin hammer at the breakout level 30 minutes into our third hour for a vertical move back through the high of the day. Dump and pump. We have a pump and dump template that collapsed at the end of the first hour. New York opens and takes traders into the breakout. You'll notice to the left we have a market that has potentially put in a low of the day at the previous day's high of day. Then they take traders back into that breakout level before reversing and going vertical back to the high of the day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sorry, this is uh, Wednesday. Today, day three. Wednesday, day three. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's our midpoint for the week. And we had the Fed and we're in a market that came off of a first green day. First green day, day one longs in the market and the Fed continued to go higher. Higher highs, dump and pump, breaking structure on the first release. They dump it back down into that low. And the second release takes the market vertical through the high of the day. Now, if we look at our number chart, we'll just again show this three levels of rise. 25, 25, and 25. So some traders are saying, yeah, well, how do you get your levels of rise? That's where the move went vertical. So again, if we look at this and this has created our low of day, that's our low of day, W formation, whatever you want to call it. They've gone vertical from there. 50, it breaks out of the high of the day. 50 to 75, 75 to double zeros, double zeros to 25. 
except that they go higher. So what do we do? We redraw our lines. They go higher again. They redraw our lines. Now, I often like to use that little wick where the short trade was potentially taken by somebody prior to our 12 candle window. So again, you'll, you'll hear me say at 7.59 New York time AM, draw the high of the day and the low of the day. That's the most recent low up top. They make a lower low on the inside. Lower lows on the inside is our setup for the pump and dump. That's the only thing I'm looking at now. They pump it back up into the end of the hour. We get our engulfment pin hammer for the easy collapse into the breakout. Three levels of rise, higher highs. We redraw our levels. We have volume trapped. I want to get filled above the numbers. Once my thesis is intact, I'm on a smaller time frame. Why? Because that gives me more potential now for profit target. I can take money off as it's breaking levels. Okay, whether I want to take a small piece off, lock in some money, next level down, lock in some money, timings, levels, behavior of price. We're still not at the New York Open. We get closer to the New York Open. I'm taking the full amount off. That is the time when we are going to see that market reverse. I'm in that trade for just over 35, 40 minutes before locking it in and taking the money. So again, whether we have a breakout, we have lots of space. We don't see a breakout pullback yet. The market keeps going higher. We have lots of room for this market to pull back. But at the New York Open, traders also had an opportunity for the continuation trade back in line with the existing breakout higher highs, first green day, low of the day, low of the session, buying opportunity if indeed it presents. That's the first green day long trade right there. Lock in the money, the Fed came later, higher high break in structure, the dump and pump into the news, going through the high of the day, the high of the week. So hopefully you got value from today's video traders. Go through your charts. If you don't have the indicators, download them. I don't know. Uh, I know there's lots of them available on TradingView also. Same types of situation. Doesn't matter what charts you use. Chart to chart. But the templates, the two templates I'm looking for are the pump and dump or the dump and pump. And that can happen over three days. That can help happen over three sessions. That can happen over uh, from high day to low day. We can get that on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, same type of scenario, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to be day three now. Our Wednesday, day three becomes our day one heading into our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday closing range for the week. 1% better every single day. Traders keep getting better. Stay focused, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.